What's good, YouTube? We're back again with another video. And today we have a Michael Jordan 1998 NBA Finals jersey. And we have five. Yes. So, matter of fact, Lincoln, here, you can hold this one. Oh. All right. You want to hold this one? Yeah. Okay. So, we have the 1998 Michael Jordan jersey. This jersey was worn in three games, right? Game three, game four, game five of the 1998 NBA Finals. They won game three, they won game four, and they had a 3-1 lead and was able to close it out in Chicago. But unfortunately, Michael Jordan missed a last second buzzer beater three-pointer, which would have won the game. And they lost. They lost game five, right? They won two out of the three games. As you see, my daughter's rocking her Michael Jordan jersey. So she's rocking her MJ jersey. She also bought a couple of sneakers with her to match her jersey. So she's going to show those as well. I got to give a couple of shout outs. Shout out to the guy who said this was 40% off on the Mitchell and S website, which is crazy. They never go on sale on Mitchell and S ever you only get them on sale on Fanatic, and mitchell and s had this on sale 40 percent off so i was able to get it for 180 so again super shout out to you bro i hope you comment and if you are watching this video go comment down below because i'll definitely pin your comment because i appreciate anybody who tries to hook me up with discounted jerseys especially mj right second shout out to <laughs> uh one of my close friends my youtube friends is snacks so better known as throwback king how many jordan jerseys do you need well apparently i need all of them i have so many white michael jordan jerseys so i literally paid 180 dollars for this little patch right here right sure and even he has the and even he has the jerseys. This jersey's like blue and white, and it's like not even like a basketball jersey. Yeah, it's not, bro. So, so I don't even mention it. <laughs> we have the nineteen ninety eight Michael Jordan jersey. I will say this: Mitchell and Ness, bring that white doll, the white one. Look, an N jersey. Yeah, Mitchell and Ness, right? Does the best when it comes to Jordan jerseys in particular. Right, craftsmanship is always on point. The thick trim is always on point. The mesh is always really thick and quality. They do a great job. As far as I'm concerned, they do the best job when it comes to Michael Jordan jerseys that even rival the champion jerseys from back in the days, that even rival the Nike jerseys from back in the days. Like they put really good quality into these Michael Jordan jerseys. We're gonna get into this jersey a little bit more. Let me give you a little bit of a close up. I'm just gonna show it in front of the camera, okay? So here we have the Chicago Bulls. Watch out, lady. Here we have the Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan jersey in the white home finals. And we get this finals patch, right? Look how beautiful it looks. No cross stitching, just done really, really nice. And then we have the bulls double stitched, double layered, right? Dad, I want to sit down here. Go ahead, sit down, baby. Right, so we have not only a double layered, but we have it also double stitched, and I will show you that in a little bit. We have the Jordan double stitched on the back. <laughs> my kids are trying to be quiet. Respect to my kids for trying their best to be as quiet as they possibly can. All right. So you have the double stitched here. And then you have the 23 double stitch as well. All right. So a plain jersey for the most part. Nothing crazy. Back in the days, this is what it was. It was your mesh. It was your twill. No sublimation. Beautiful Bulls jersey. One of my favorite jerseys to this day. And even now, like if you see the icon... Or the association jersey for the Bulls. It's just a really clean look up until this day. So there we have it with the Bulls jersey. Then we have the jock tag. This is a really stiff cardboard type of jock tag. Size 52. 1997-98. And then we take a look at the tags. Right, So you get your rope. Hang tag. You have 300 bucks, which honestly, this is in New Jersey. 
and they really don't sell Michael Jordan jerseys for 300 bucks anymore. Um, they're usually 325. So good to see the price go down a little bit. But then you have what it says here, NBA home finals jersey, 1997, Michael Jordan, size 2XL. And we're going to put this jersey on for you as well, right? Now, this is a made in China run. But again, this is a clean, clean jersey, man. Really clean. All right, so let me put on this jersey for you real quick. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I will say, right off the bat, this feels a little more snug than usual. Right? Let me, let me make sure I'm combed so i don't look too crazy <laughs> all right so this is how the jersey looks this fits absolutely perfect what do you think jordan all right so this fits perfect as you guys can see you take a look at the side you take a look at the back you get a little room on the back end no big deal take a look at the left arm and we circle around funny people always wonder or ask me why do i always look at my wrist it's because of this guys it literally shows me what's going on on this camera if not i would be totally lost so i wanted to say something right Lincoln, can i sit down please all right so it's not enough to talk about this jersey because i have to talk about the sneakers he wore right it's important this is history so, it is. So a lot of people say the last shot, Jordan 14s were only worn. Not yet. Not yet, bro. Not yet. So, not yet. So a lot of people say the Jordan 14s were only worn in game six of the 1998 finals, which is not true. He actually wore them in game three and game four. He wore this pair right here. In game three and game four. Two games in which the Bulls will win. Probably why he brought it back out for game six. So technically, he's undefeated in the shoe. He's 3-0 and in the shoe. This is the last shot 14. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Of course, this is one of the iconic sneakers of all time because this is the last shoe he would wear, not only as a bull, but in his last championship run, right? So that is one sneaker I wanted to show you, the last shot 14s. But there was another sneaker in which he wore, and it wasn't the playoff 13, believe it or not. But it was a version of the Playoff 13. It was a Playoff 13 low. But instead of leather, like we get on the Playoff 13, it was a mesh panel. Let me show you. Hold on. So, he wore a Playoff 13, right? With a black lining. With a silver, I believe a silver, maybe it was gray. It was super hard to tell in the pictures. I'm going to put pictures up throughout this whole video. He wore it with a mesh panel where the dimples are. So it's basically these two sneakers fused. It was incredible to see the details of this unreleased sneaker. We've never seen it released. This is sort of an iteration of that sneaker, but it's not quite the PE that Michael Jordan wore. It's basically this mesh version on this low top Jordan 13 playoff, but it had the same exact tooling as the Jordan low 13 playoff that we got 2015 maybe. So it would be nice to get this actual version, the playoff low 13, how he actually wore it in game five. So like I said earlier, he wore these in game three, game four, and then he wore the playoff low in game five, right? Other than that, pretty dope jersey. We take a look at the sneakers up close. So the 13 low, right? Looks really nice. Let me see if I could give you a nice little thumbnail. Hold on, right? So nice little thumbnail. These are the two sneakers in which he would wear with this jersey. Again, he only wore this jersey for three games. Two and three in this jersey, but three and oh in the last shots. So super dope there, right? Now, my daughter is rocking a Jordan jersey. Come through. So my daughter decided to rock her Bulls jersey, Michael Jordan jersey, 
old school vintage champion heat press still intact guys this is probably a a minimum 30 year old jersey this jersey is 30 years old it's older than noah which is my oldest son so show them the sneakers that you would wear Oof. so those are jordan 11s so jordan tell them about jordan 11. i picked this one because this it's kind of cleaner than this one and i might and i may have to, um so people love the shoes. jordan one by the way yeah but me like, personally i take the jordan 11 all day every day over the jordan one because like here i don't i'm gonna get a little close up here it's like shiny and clean and it has like the you silver gotta lift thing. it up a little bit more yeah right it's there like clean and it has the like silver thing and it has a lot of cushion yeah so i would recommend wearing this yeah no it's a beautiful looking sneaker i actually have a sneaker similar to that uh i think they are over there, right? I have the 72 and 10s, which is basically a mock-up of what that is. But that's just the low version, also the kids version. But they also came out with a low version of the 72 and 10s. And then this looks like the bread ones, which is probably, other than the Chicago's, the most popular bread or Jordan one. I see a lot of black. Uh, so it's a lot of black and red. Um, they actually say the words black and red, but it's just to pay homage to the colors of the team. Yeah. So, as you see, it matches perfect, right? Yeah. So you can actually wear this together. Yes. And it also goes with Lincoln's... Um, Lincoln, show the Spider-Man. Show the Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. So, if you guys know uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, he wore a Jordan 1 in... What was the, sh the movie? No. The no, Spider-Verse. No. I mean, Spider-Verse. Yeah, so Spider-Verse, the movie, actually, we need to watch it again. It's so dope. Um, so Miles Morales would wear a version of the Jordan 1. But to me, obviously, these would be a perfect match for anything Spider-Man related. And that is that. You want to say anything else? And that is that. So make sure you hit the subscribe bell, turn on the, the bell notification, and help if you guys in the next video. We are <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We out on that note. Peace. Everybody say peace. Peace. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. Later, y'all. We out.